Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here, and in this video I'll be showing you some cool uh, little things you can do with your desktop. Uh, some of these things are really easy, and some are a bit more advanced, and I'll just show you just some uh, things you can uh, download for your uh, PC, and maybe just improve it a little bit. As you may have noticed uh, in my previous video, I think it was how to burn games with Roxy or something like that, uh, I used this uh, sort of layout, and I'll show you how, as I promised in that video. So let's uh, see what I, you can do to improve your desktop first of all the easiest thing to do is actually to get your background changed and that is done as really as simply as by going into your pictures folder and finding a reasonably good picture that you can use uh, for instance like the Yoshi Katana I've got in the background and all you have to do to change your background is to right click on the picture wait for it to load Oddly enough, my PC is a bit odd sometimes like this. And uh, wait for it to load and go into set as desktop background. That can't be easy. And then you set it and there we go. Actually, I don't like that one that much. So let's set this one on background. So once a few things to consider whilst you're changing your background. Uh, make sure that the picture is in high dimensions and it is is at a reasonable size for the desktop. So you should aim in around the 1,000 for the 1,000 by about 700 area. Uh, anything lower, it would be a bit um, small and pixelated, even um, and therefore bad quality. The Yoshi Katana uh, background I had previously, which I'll change. Two has got 2560 by 1600, so that is a really high resolution background, making it a perfect candidate for backgrounds. And I also like the back uh, color and well, the image not so much because I'm not that big of a fan, but I just like the dark coloring. You can see your apps on the uh, desktop and our apps uh, icons on your desktop and you can see the animations and it works well with the theme and that is how you change your background and let's have a look what else we can do so moving on to the theme there is a few things you can use to change your theme and uh, I used my actual um, Alienware Invader theme which you get free from uh, the Alienware guys website or just Alienware just type in Alienware guys and actually I'll, I'll put a link in my video description to the website where you download it from and what you do like I said just a second ago where you download Alienware guys it's this application here right there and all you do is run it like I will do so now and then all you do is apply it through the program like you can change it to normal or Vista or the think green these are the only free ones and the, the only two uh, free ones and the Vista being your standard one. You can always buy them in this one here and it is uh, some of these are really cool some of them are not so cool it depends what you like and it, they do have a number of others on the website which you can get like the actual Alienware themes and not just like the theme themes of like pirate themes uh, so that's a reasonably good a program to use you can also use uh, window blind, uh, a window blind, and that is a, a program where you can get more options and which are not from Alienware. However, as well as the ones from Alienware, most of the ones from Alienware I think, but uh, it is a 30 day trial program. And after 30 days, that any theme that you applied will die unless you have bought the program. And it is but it is worth getting it if you want to get a good theme which you have bought so well it depends what you want just a few things to warn you about the themes like if I use Google Chrome which I do use m quite often if I maximize the window they have a big bar thing at the top I'm not sure what it's called how but what it does is it gets in the way of your tabs which are located right at the top here so I can't access them and you may experience this in other programs like where it may get in the way sometimes so that is something to keep in mind when you get in the themes the unofficial way to get themes is through window vista glaze uh, g l a z z it is a 
the program that patches your files as I'll run it right now there and what it th you have to uh, press the patch files button mine already patched and all you do is uh, download them from websites like Devon Art and my Vista themes I think and then you have to watch another video on YouTube I'll try and find a better one or I may make another one myself on how to do it the through the Vista glaze way but and that that is the free and probably the biggest choice you will ever have of themes some of the themes um, have their special um, applications with them like the thin green theme from uh, alien guys has the um, gadgets for telling the weather and so on just like the uh, sidebar does with another application that I found only a few days ago is called desktop X and this program allows you to create your little widgets and things like this uh, I didn't actually create these I think these are like called uh, defaults for them or something like that and I'm not sure what to do with them really because I haven't really had a look at this program that much but from what I have gathered I think you just press create and you somehow uh, work out how to create uh, your desktop or something like that uh, I am not sure how to really work this program however it is something that is worth uh, being discovered by yourself as well as my me because well I wouldn't mind creating my own desktop and just um, catering for my own tastes in desktop so um, that is a program to have a look at and download uh, the link is in my description it is from download.com and it was one of the advised things for desktops as I was researching about them and well it was some something to have a look at another thing that can make your desktop seem a bit more cool is a few applications called object dock and rocket dock they are not of the same company however the the thing they do is very similar uh, object dock I will show you right now is very similar to rocket dock and what it does is allow you to look through your icons in an animated cool looking way like this and all you have to do is actually you can keep it as launched in your uh, configurations or something like that in your MS config you keep the it'll launch itself by itself so you don't have to keep uh, rebooting it and you can store all your icons on here like I'll show you right now let's store let's say Google Chrome onto it like this and you put it in and there it is and when you go out you all you do is click on it and it comes up like so and Th that is quite a good and practical way to make your computer seem more practical and cool. A rocket dock does a similar thing, however, it looks a little bit different. However, you can set it up to look similar or as different as you want, as you can with this by going into. I haven't got written written of these. However, you can by just dragging them out and making them disappear like so, and. Well, it just makes it seem uh, more cool, and you can just add as many applications as you wanted to. I think there may be a limit, but a very large limit, and you can change its appearance in here, like so. The effect, the appearance, and like the main setup. And Rocket Dock, like I said, is very similar, but I can't boot it up because I think it's something to. D oh, there it is. And there is Rocket Dock and object dock more both working together and well you can make it go on the side on the right on the bottom and one thing I found was um, quite cool is that object dock it does not overlap with the toolbar here no not the toolbar the taskbar so it is better to have it at the bottom rocket dock however does overlap and it just makes it a little bit difficult to use as, as well one thing to consider with these two um, don't put it like on the sides because these those are the places that you use most often like to scroll and, and every time you go for the scroll you may go a little bit too far and it brings out the dock and you click on something and the program boots up and just slows the whole process of scrolling down which you really need unless you use your scrolling mouse for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I shall be releasing a few more videos soon